dear students in the series of numericals and physics we have another numerical here which is uh, an object sliding on a smooth inclined plane requires 6 seconds to reach the bottom starting from rest at the top how much time does it take to cover one fourth of the distance starting from rest at top now this is question in which the object is under the acceleration due to gravity now if we see here the object which is having is at rest so when an object is at rest and it starts sliding over the earth the initial velocity is zero and we know the equation of motion as is equal to ut plus half a t square this is the basic equation we know now initial velocity is zero so it is one upon two a t square so ultimately if we know the time we can determine the distance and g the value of g that we can determine with the help of g which is 9.8 meter per second square or if it is given to us g is equal to 10 meter per second square now what is, here question is that that s if we are taking it as s1 which is equal to 1 upon 2 at time uh, given to us that is 6 seconds to reach at the bottom means it is 36 upon 2 a so s1 is 18 a now we can formulate it for two distances suppose if we are having s1 s1 is equal to 1 upon 2 at square at1 square and another distance which is covered by the object which is 1 upon 2 at2 square this 1 upon 2 and a which is in terms of g uh, this is constant so if we go through this so we can say directly s is directly proportional to t square now if we take this these two equations so we can have s1 upon s2 which is equal to t1 if we divide it s1 by s2 so s1 upon s2 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 will cancel a and a is also cancel so t1 is square t2 is square now once if we assume that s1 is equal to s that we say here so it is s and it is one fourth in the question it is given to us and general formula we have got if we know this this distance this time we can determine either time or the distance now it is distance covered is given to us one fourth so s by four which is equal to time is given to us here we have already calculated but if we go through this t1 is square so it is six is square and t2 that we need to determine so here s to s cancel it is four t square which is equal to 36 so t2 will be two it is 6 and t2 will be 6 upon 2 3 seconds so 3 seconds will be the correct answer for this to reach at the bottom from the rest but we here we have formulated s1 upon s2 is equal to t1 square upon t2 square so sometimes a question like this if it comes to you then you can directly go with this if it is applicable there so by this way we can determine here we have got this s1 18 upon a but if we go further we have this equation and finally we can conclude it here s1 which we have got it as and s2 is s by 4 so by in such a manner we can solve the numerical and it is a numerical which was based on the equation of motions second equation of motion